Hi guys, welcome to Empower and my name is Caroline Porter Thomas and thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel and welcome to Motivation Monday. In this video, I'm going to talk about what I believe is my number one secret to happiness. You know, being a nurse for so many years, you get to meet with patients at all walks of their life. Some patients you meet are critically ill, some patients that you meet are just there, you know, for what I call admitted because they were old. Just for example, I had a patient that was 103 that was admitted, you know, she came in for something very miscellaneous, but she was admitted, I, I say, just for old age. <laughs> so, you know, being with people in all walks of their life, I always try to communicate, you know, find out where they stand in life. Are they happy? Are they successful? Are they content? And extracting all of the lessons that I've learned, there's two fundamental words that I find the first word is not exactly said, but it's a, it's a feeling that I get from the people that I'm asking the question, and that is that they have an ultimate feeling of peace, like peace that you know, they're loved, that they are loving, that their life matters, that they're here for a reason, that they're accomplishing great things in their life. So this feeling of peace is, like I said, it's not something that they say. It's the feeling that I get around them. And like I mentioned, I've felt this feeling around people that were critically ill but happy. Also people that were just admitted for miscellaneous reasons but they don't really, they're not very sick but they're successful and happy. It, it's really just been a non-denominational feeling that I've felt amongst many of my patients that I believe were truly happy. The other word that I hear a lot, and this is the exact word that I hear, is that they're patient. They're not rushing things. They're fine with whatever unfolds and whatever timing is right. They're not trying to rush things too much. Not to say that they don't do whatever they can, but at the, at the same time, they, they do everything they can and then they wait patiently, happily. So having the patience really gives you a lot of relaxation. And when you are relaxed, you can perform at optimal level. You know, you can... Um, communicate with people in a much better tone. You can treat people with respect because you're not rushed to, <laughs> to not treat people with respect. So it's one thing that I've noticed with me, with, with my generation, with the generation you know younger than me and slightly older than me, is that we don't have a lot of patience. We are used to the microwave type results, you know, put it in for a minute and Boom, there you go. And this type of expectation is, it's not natural. It's, you know, the microwave is not a natural thing. You're not gonna find microwaves in nature, but you will find trees in nature. You will find flowers in nature and they don't pop up overnight in a minute. You know, these things take time. And so with those two things, I always try to remember peace and patience. And whenever I'm feeling stressed out or like things aren't happening fast enough, or something should be happening and it's not, I just remember that. Peace and patience. All right, guys, I really hope that this video helped you out a lot. I cannot wait to see you next week for another motivational tip, and I hope you have a great week. I'll see you soon. Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time for the weekly nursing free huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must-read before entering nursing school school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job 
has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the dean's list. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.